Hello, and welcome back to another web development video. Today, I'm talking about software engineering abstraction for beginners, essentially, so uh, you can understand and get a high level understanding of what software engineering abstraction is. Uh, and I just wanna kind of cover things really quickly here, just to give kind of an over, uh, overview um, of what it actually is here. So essentially, what I've written here in my blog about this is that it's used to reduce complexion and allows for uh, efficiency by hiding complexity from the user. Uh, and then also that allows the developer to use that code without fully understanding that hidden complexion. So the point of this is to be able to uh, have somebody understand a concept quickly without having to know every single little detail about it. That's all it is. It's pretty simple actually. Um, Great things about abstraction, it's, it, it can be used uh, to avoid code duplication. Um, it can be used um, to speed up development. You could imagine if you had a team of developers working on uh, a branch or a feature or whatever it is, and perhaps they haven't worked on it before and they're tasked to do some new things in there, or they're just working together. They don't necessarily need to know everything about every little thing that everybody's working on or has worked on in the past. They just need to get kind of a high level abstract view. So that's pretty much all it is. It's a black box. Um, you have an input, you have an output. Uh, you can change all the code around in the black box and nobody um, really needs to know what that code is. It just needs to know, okay, there's an input, there's an output and it does some stuff in the middle. Um, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. So I will jump over to uh, an actual real world example in JavaScript. And this is just so you can get a, another uh, idea of what this is. Uh, and in JavaScript, uh, I'm sure you uh, are aware that we have things called for loops so that, you know, we can do things like console log things out. And we'll just uh, comment that there and let that run. And you can see here, all I have here is an array with some items in it. And I have a basic for loop. Um, we're starting out by initializing I and setting it to zero. And as long as i is less than an array's length, uh, which is our array up here, and we're going to increment i. And then from there, all we're doing is we're console logging out the for loop plus uh, the array and the index uh, item of the array there. And this is all it does down here. Pretty simple, pretty basic. And if we comment this out, you can see that if we use a little bit of abstraction here, we just got rid of a lot of what this for loop had, okay? It's still three lines here, but we don't have uh, an initialization uh, of i, and then you know the i is less than the array.length. We have a for each function, and uh, all we're doing here is we're just returning i uh, as a console log of for each plus i. That's all it is, pretty simple. So this is an example of an abstract version of a for loop. And you can take this and abstract it out even farther. If you look down here, we have an array for each uh, as I uh, console logging shorthand for each plus I. So also still pretty simple basic function here, but you can see how much simpler this is to understand, especially if you've seen code like this before. Oh, we're just for reaching through I and then console logging it. Um, or for eaching for eaching through an array and then console logging i and you can see the steps of abstraction here we're getting farther and farther away of knowing exactly what that's doing and this might be a pretty basic example but you can take this and uh, expand on this and think about okay well instead of just being three lines of code to one imagine if this was 100 lines of code and we're actually taking something with i and we're changing it around or we're adding something to it or whatever we're doing um, you could imagine how much simpler using this type of syntax could be for other people that are working on it on things. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's abstraction in a nutshell. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time.